I'm Corey Jones, Collections Administrator with athens Clark County Solid Waste, and you're watching Snapshot 6. This video highlights the efforts of the unified government for the month of August, including the purchase of four new automated collection trucks for solid waste. The Solid Waste Department received the first of four new automated trucks in the summer of 2020 for garbage collection. The final new truck was received in November. Solid Waste began using full-scale automated collection of trash and recycling for their customers in January 2015. Automated collection is a far more efficient means of collection as it uses a truck and a single operator. The trucks use a mechanical arm guided by drivers to lift roll carts and empty their contents into the truck's bins. Using automated trucks is also safer for employees who do not have to lift as many heavy bins or spend time in busy roadways. The athens Clark County Extension Office's Agriculture and Natural Resources Program Area hosted a free online Green Thumb lecture via Zoom with a master gardener discussing the topic of getting along with garden bugs. Participants learned about general insect identification, biology, and behavior, as well as the importance and value of some insects versus the danger and destruction of others. The presentation wrapped up by discussing tips for insect control. The virtual lecture was only one of the ongoing Green Thumb lecture series open to any athens Clark County community members. To register for an upcoming lecture, including ones on herb gardening and composting, or to see videos of past classes, visit accgov.com gardening. The Bandit, a new trash fighter, was installed in a small creek near the corner of Ruth Drive and Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway. This trash trap filters floating debris, taking these unsightly and destructive elements out of the water. In August, the trap removed around 22 pounds of trash during what is typically a dry month. Over the course of this one-year pilot project, trash removed by this trap will be sorted, identified, weighed, and studied. Partners in this project include a number of ACCGov offices, such as the Sustainability Office, Solid Waste Department, and Stormwater, along with several UGA programs and community organizations. In a partnership between the Oconee Rivers Audubon Society and the Sustainability Office, almost a third of an acre of once non-native and invasive plants is being transformed into a four-season native pollinator and bird habitat. Volunteers and Sustainability Office staff began preparing the ground in summer of 2020 near the corner of North Avenue and Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway. Principally funded through a $5,000 grant from the National Audubon Society, local chapter and community volunteers gathered in November to plant almost 2,500 native grasses and wildflowers. This restoration effort is the first of many that will be undertaken as the Sustainability Office works to restore native habitat throughout the 13-acre site. The ACC Transit Department created a new video tutorial explaining the process and benefits of bringing a bike along on a bus. The bus and bike program can shorten commute times and make transit more convenient and accessible. Each bus in the transit fleet has a special carrier attached to its front bumper that can hold up to three adult-sized bicycles. The rack only contacts a bike's tires. There is no extra charge for using the bus and bike program and the carrier. Transit buses are currently fare-free for riders through June 30th, 2021. For more information, visit accgov.com transit. East Clayton Street between Lumpkin Street and Thomas Street was converted from three lanes to two lanes as part of an ongoing East Clayton Street improvements project in the summer of 2020. The two-lane configuration now matches the rest of Clayton Street, which underwent infrastructure and streetscape improvements as part of an earlier project a number of years ago. The East Clayton Street improvements project is a multi-year project funded by SPLOST and T-SPLOST on this segment of road and some connecting side streets. Improvements will include new sidewalks, streetscape, paving, 
storm drainage systems, public art, pedestrian safety elements, tree plantings, lighting upgrades, private utility upgrades, and traffic flow measures. Underground storm drainage system improvements were largely completed in 2020. Streetscape work started in early 2021 on the first block in the area. The full project is currently scheduled for completion along with the whole section in the spring of 2022. For updates and more information on the Clayton Street Improvements Project, visit accgov.com slash Clayton. Thank you for watching Snapshot 6. We'll see you again next month.